Hey guys, it's Hannah and welcome to the Dyslexic Reader. Today I am going to be doing the Your Readership tag which was created by Strip Coverlet. I'll link down below. Their channel is really great if you're looking at tags. I wasn't tagged in this, I just thought that it sounded like a really interesting list of questions. Strip Coverlet do a new tag every Tuesday I think, like an original tag. So if that's somewhere that I was just feeling in the mood for something like this. If you go over to their channel and look at their original tags playlist, they have a whole load of really good and diverse options there. So I would suggest that you check them out. I'm just going to jump right into this. The tag's all about like you as a reader and how you got there and like what it means to you and all that kind of stuff. But we'll see as we progress along. Question one is who really influenced you in becoming a reader and for me personally it was a teacher that I had called Mrs McBride. I have no idea where she would be now but I remember when the Harry Potter movies came out like someone was talking about that in class the cat wants to join in. No? Are you just going to sit there and put your tail in my face? Come on. There. That's really what you want. So Mrs. McBride, they were talking about the Harry Potter movies and she said, maybe it was Lord of the Rings movies? I can't remember. Either way, the person was talking about it and she says, have you read the books? And the person said that they had not and she said that you had to always read the books first because the books were so much better than the movies. And for some reason that really, really stuck with me that like here was like an intelligent grown woman like telling me that books were better than movies and I loved movies. I'm not so much as a movie watcher now but when I was a kid I loved movies. Um, and that really stuck with me for some reason. And she was very big in the literature and getting us to like read in our spare time and stuff like that and because I had like so much like adoration for this woman that I really wanted to do and press her like I really started like reading a lot and talking to her about what I was reading and asking for like suggestions and stuff. So I think she was kind of a massive influence. She's not someone that I would ever think about. But when I sat down to think about this, she really um, came to mind as someone who really influenced me. That probably isn't obviously your parents, your English teachers, but she was someone kind of out of the norm that influenced me a lot that really sticks in my head. Question two is the first book you remember. I have uh, a lot of memories of like childhood books but a, um, one that like particularly stuck in my head, don't know the name of it, don't even know what it's about, I just have a picture in my head of the pictures, either has been given away or lost or more than likely is at my parents house and I don't have it. I'm gonna have to set you down so I can show the books. I know, I'm sorry. Um, but two that I had here that I remember from when I was really little was Morris Mouse and Bobby Bear. They're obviously from the same, yeah, created by Morris Pledger. They're from the same kind of series. And they're just little, like, pop-up flat books. And I remember just being read these when I was really little. Um, so these would definitely be within some of the earliest memories that I remember. Number three is the first book that really impacted you. And um, for that I have The Hobbit, but not the, um, this is the graphic novel version of The Hobbit. And for some reason, well, my dad doesn't even remember this, but I remember my dad is also dyslexic, the same as me, as is my brother. But my dad would probably be the worst affected out of us. His reading and writing is very poor and for some reason I remember him reading me this and I suppose he read it to me because it was a good kind of more grown-up story but there wasn't a whole lot of text. It relied heavily on pictures and what text there was was dialogue which is easier to read. Um, and I remember for a period of time us maybe doing 10 minutes before bed or something, just a couple of pages, whatever, and like making our way through the book. And my dad doesn't even remember reading this to me, but for some reason it really like stuck in my head and I used to like during the day, you know, go back and look at the pictures of like what we had already read and I was like so invested in finding out the story. 
this was before the movies and stuff came out, so I had no idea what was going to happen. Um, or any of the characters or anything. So for some reason this is just stuck in my head as one of those books that like I was really, really invested in. And I would say kind of got me into reading. Question four is the first author that you fell in love with. And for that I am going with Lemony Snicket. I was obsessed with these books as they were coming out. When did they start? Coming out 99. And I would have bought these books like as they were coming out. Now, I was probably older than the general uh, readership because of my dyslexia and my reading age was so much younger. So I was reading these in high school. Um, and really my contemporaries probably could have read these at maybe 11 years old or something. And that's the kind of age. But I was so invested in this world. And like my wee brother I used to tell him about like what was happening in the books. And I was so excited and like all about like the mysteries and the secret societies and we would like play games where we would like I would say like he was part of the secret society and I would use the background from this to apply to him and like tell him he was in this secret society and give him wee missions and things to do so um that just used to be like a really fun game that I used to play with him these were the first like series I was really into where I was like as I said like waiting for the next book to come out and like buying it um actually I have all the UK hardbacks apart from the final book which I have an American hardback because I was on holiday when it came out and I couldn't even wait to get home. I had to buy the final book and finish the series so like all my series 12 match and then the last one is just a completely different edition. Um, But I don't care I kind of love that but like let me stick it. I really really was engrossed in. Number five what book is on your TBR the longest? I don't really do a TBR. I have obviously all the books on my shelf that are on read I'm I'm planning to read but I'm very much a mood reader like I could get rid of some of these books before I read them because they'll just go out of the notion Um, I get to like 90% of my books from the library anyway and that's all just like what I'm fancying you're gonna have to move because you're creeping me out because you're moving me like don't come back she's really acting weird today I don't know what's wrong with her but um yeah, so I don't really have like a TBR. I just obviously plan to read my own red books and that's about it. But one series that I have been meaning, I have the whole series and I've been meaning to get to it for ages is The Chronicles of Prydian by Lord Alexander. This is like a kid's fantasy series that I've been meaning to get to probably for about two or three years. I've owned the whole series. um, So that might be a summer project because I've never got around these. I think I'm so excited for them I'm almost afraid to read them because I'm afraid I won't like them if you know what I mean. So that was really the only answer that like popped in my head for that one. And finally number seven what are you currently reading? I'm currently reading 6-4 by Hideo Yokoyami. I'm butchering that name. This is a massive book but I'm really enjoying it. It's like crime novel and apparently it is absolutely massive in J Japan. It's been like an absolute bestseller. It's been out for a couple of years there and it's I think just in the last year or so been translated into English and I Alert from system UI server low battery. Oh my goodness that was really <laughs> Alert from com Apple battery monitor low battery. I have a low battery guys so I have to go but this is what I am currently um, reading and I am really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying the writing and I'm quite intrigued in the crime so I'm really enjoying that. Oh, I missed one out. Um, number six, we went from five to seven. Number six was, what would be your like go-to suggestion for a new reader? So people come up and say, you're obviously a reader I haven't read in ages or I don't really read. What would you suggest starting up? And I don't have an answer. I read sometimes quite obscure books. I read a lot of children's literature. So I don't really have a big bank of like adults like kind of contemporary popular books to recommend them but I would always start by asking like do you have any hobbies what like I would suggest these are people like like I probably would know anyway like what movies do you like and you would just have to go kind of off the person I don't have one book in my head that I think everybody should read but let me know down in the comments if you have a book that you recommend like anyone no matter what their age background likes dislikes um should read because might be interesting means some of those that could be a video in itself reading some of your like must read books so if you have any must read books leave them down below and that might become a future video we'll see but as I said that battery is running low this one is acting 
weird and I want to go for a walk because it's a really nice day outside for once. In Northern Ireland we have sunshine so I'm going to go and enjoy that for a little while before I have to get ready for work. So I hope you're all happy, I hope you're all healthy and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.